face. <laughs> and I thought life was over. I feel just unstoppable when I've got my makeup on, you know? I'm just Tanya. Hey y'all, this is Burn Beauty 2018 and I'm ready to do some hair. Got my makeup on and I've got a new wig. This is Sensational. Unit 41 and 613. Sensational Butter Lace. Unit 41 and 613. Let's set her free from her hang tag. It, there's, I've never seen a wig worn near one Monroe in this unit. Um, it doesn't look at all near Lynn monroe in other colors, but in 613, it definitely does look like that. Now what you notice here, look, the lace is still on. You can hardly tell because this is a butter lace. And you guys know the way I do it. I'm not going to put it on the head, look at it, glue it down, get a razor, cut my face open, not going to do any of that. I'm just going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut the lace. I'm pulling the baby hair back. So I don't really do baby hair. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't really know. So I'm pulling the baby hair back because I don't want to cut it off. I want it to be there. So it looks natural, like a natural hairline. But I'm not going to grab it and start swirling it around my head either. So as you cut it, just a little wiggle. Right? So while we're cutting our lace, we just remember that there are no straight lines in nature, no perfectly straight lines. So we give it a little wiggle as we cut. Won't take but a second. So I really want this little beauty to lay down. Lace bond. Try it all around here. Okay. Now, if you really want your wig to stay, you really need it to stay for a while, then you're gonna do two or three layers of what I just did. I'm gonna put some wig shine on it by even. Oh, the lace bond is by even. I'll put a link below. This is a pretty quick install, right? I, I don't like to put a lot of glue on mine because um, it gives me a headache. <laughs> I guess that's just from like wearing my wigs glueless. You know, it's sort of like when you put your ponytail a different way, it just gives me a headache. So, it's uh, tacky already. You can blow it or whatever, but I don't worry too much about it. Gets tacky, on it goes. Oh. <laughs> Marilyn, calling Marilyn. Stick. I have to change it to red because I feel like the red and the platinum are something together and I'm not sure that the orange and the platinum are something together. Let's look at it for a minute and decide. I don't love it. I really want the red. I don't love it. I love the wig. Oh. That's not what I mean. Look at the wig. I did basically nothing. I forgot to spray. I forgot to spray the part. <laughs> um, with the lace tab. This it was a gift from my friend for Christmas. And it's basically just concealers in all different colors that you can use on your um, scalp. And it's great to have all different colors because it's going to vary not by the color of you, but by the color of your wig, right? And I'm just completely not obsessed with the orange whip right now. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to try to put a little bit of brown. That looks just like me. So you can pick any color, because depending on the color of the wig, the color of the root, that's going to determine the color that you need to come through to make your part look like a part, you know? 
the butter lace doesn't have a lot of knots in it. You see how pretty that is? I'm gonna look around here and see if there's anything. I don't see a thing. I literally don't see a thing on this butter lace. I see hairs. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Completely forgot to spray it. I am not happy with my red. I mean, my orange lip. It has to go immediately. It has to be red. Okay. See how already it looks better just without the orange. It feels wonderful. I'm gonna do a purple liner. Like in the olden days, kind of a purple liner. I'm putting on Besame Cosmetics 1935 Cherry Red Lipstick. Actually, a color from 1935. I mean, it is.